Hello, my loves. Here I am. Here I am. Sprinkles. I got my homie. Homie know me has friends now. Homie know me has friends now. We'll, we'll talk about all the thing, little pretty things, row counters and such. Because yarn is life. But homie know me over there. Hi, guys. It's been a while. This And this is not really a what you whipping on. This is a new thing. Because it's the pot of anniversary. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, not like a little kid. And like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my birthday. So May is here. May showers bring, is that April showers bring May flowers? <laughs> I'm all giddy. So welcome to Creations by Jax. I um, would like to welcome you to the once game thing. <laughs> We're going to drop it down. <laughs> I need a break. It's like my Obi-Wan was saying, I need breather projects. <laughs> One of those kind of projects. So I said, let's do the ones game thing. And that's what we're going to do. Because I have just been making blankets till the sun comes up. And I'm tired. I want to make some like instant gratification things. You know, maybe there's Belle. Everybody say hi, Belle. She, she, found, she found that I barely put them in the cup and she's like... <laughs> And then when she moved out, we got to name him. Oh, you can barely see him. He's climbing up to get to Apple. He wants to go see his new girlfriend, Apple. Amigurumi. That is the Imkin. We'll talk about that later. But so this is the one skein thing. And what I would like to present to you this month is I'm just going to randomly throughout the month make one skein things. And because uh, I have I have like a tote of things like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of done making hats. I don't want to make any more hats. Not right now. I need a break. So I thought, let's revisit the Unity series. And because the boy child asked, one of the boy children, asked for some washcloths. I was like, hey, I got one of those. It's like one of my first patterns. <laughs> so I'm going to make a Unity washcloth. So the Unity washcloth, just real quickly, because I didn't want this to be long, I created when Rose from Rose Likes Crochet requested washcloths. She needed a lot and she got a lot. They got a lot. And so I made the Unity washcloth and what it is is I took the stitch from my Unity beanie and made a square. So it's a square, it can be used as a square. You can do whatever you want. I have a stitch tutorial and then I have a recipe. So I did not do a tutorial for the actual washcloth but I did do one for the actual stitch because it's called a mock bobble or I call it the drop double. I've also seen um, something similar to it. Someone called it a surface double. So check it out, dropped it on the community tab. I'll put it in the description and check it out. It was like, but forgive my nails. Oh, I was like, girl, did you even look at your nails before you hit play? Yeah, I don't do the decorations on my nails anymore. A lot of you know most of my stuff. I had like ba bow, bon quickly nails. You know, that's J J Angela Johnson. <laughs> the nails are like really, really long <laughs> and all blinged out because I have decorations. So, yeah, we're going to circle back around to that. So, please be kind. It was like, again, I think my second recorded tutorial. So, but I thought it's a really pretty stitch. Um, it gives you texture and it's really easy. You have landmarks and you really don't have to count. So that is the Unity, the Unity series. Like I said, down below. One skein thing. I'm gonna make a washcloth. If I have anything left, I'll make it a, like a set. I'll make a little, a little, um, a little scrubby thing. This isn't quite peaches and concrete. But it's actually, it's not even close to peaches and concrete. This is Premier Heaven, oh, no, Premier Home Cotton. And I think I got this in a mystery box. I've never, that's why it was only one. And, but it is delicious. It's soft as far as 100% cotton. Four weight. I'm going to use a four weight, but I'm going to, if it's a call for, yeah, oh, blind is a bat. Oh my gosh, you would think with the industry yarn people, hi, the industry of people with that require glasses at the age that we're using this stuff, you would think that they would make a font we could read. 
ice yarn is we won't discuss ice yarn. I have to get my camera and like blow up. The... <sighs> Getting old. If that is this what look 50 looks like? I don't know if I want to be 50. Can I go back? <laughs> All right. So yeah, this one is called, I cannot read that sisters and breath. Oh, it's an I. An I. So I am going to use an H um, or even a 4.5. That What do they call that? A, um, a US 7. Yeah, so that's what I'm, this is, oh, that's why, you sneaky little stitch. This is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. Okay, so not hot pad. You guys, let's discuss this real quick, because I am going to try to use a lot of cotton in this. Um, Because, I, well, I have very little, so I'm going to use up those one skein ones I had. I have a bunch of Hobie cotton. So, hold please. Okay, of course, something comes through right when I'm trying to record how to answer a text. Here I am. So what I was saying is, with the cotton, if you're making household stuff like uh, hot pads, things that are going to have like hot, 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 hot on them, they will melt. So 100% cotton, even 100% wool um, won't melt. So acrylics, polyester, stuff like that will melt. So this one I won't use for a hot pad. What is this one? I found another one scanner. One scan thing. This is called Crafter's Closet. It's a four. Is it 100%? Come on, baby, be 100%. I need to make a hot pad. It's 100% cotton. So here, different colors though. See, I was thinking, trying to find things to make together because I hate one solid color, but it's going to be all right. I will, I will be all right. So this one, maybe this will be the next one. This is 100% and let's make a hot pad, guys. So you have to be, like I said, be careful. 100%. It will melt. Oh, and then like, oh, that is what I was saying. Squirrel that, didn't I? When you wash and there's acrylic, if you do it on hot and then you dry hot and all of a sudden you're like, why does it feel like a polyester or poly bag, polyurethane bag? That's because your acrylic melted. The acrylic melted <laughs> okay so there's that washcloth if it, anything left over it turns to a set I thought about using beginning and ending and double stranding it then there won't be any left for sure but then I thought it would be nice to have a little scrubby I do a circular scrubby and then do a little um a little strap across the back slide in your hand to do that maybe we'll do that if there's a little bit of scrap all right so I think that's it one skein thing. It's a game. It's a one skein thing. It's a skein. It's a one skein thing. A vibrant thing. It's a vibrant thing. I had to have a sing break. Who would it be? Jax without a sing break? <laughs> All right, guys. I think that'll be it for today. We are going to launch. You are going to see this mug every day in May. It is the vlogiversary and May the 4th. That Saturday, 4, 11 a.m. will be the four-year Potiversary celebration function. I got treats. I got treats for all y'all. So just a few little things. Just, just a few little things. And then, um, yeah. So we'll see you every day. Some content will drop every day. So come try some new things too. Y'all said you wanted to sit and stitch with me. So we're going to do it. All right? This is how. All right, and I'm going. See you later. Bye. Oh, where's homie Nomi? Homie Nomi. Oh, yeah, make, make beautiful things. I'm, I'm glad he wasn't connected because I forgot to say the things. Make beautiful ones. All of the beautiful things. Okay, bye.